Hello everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. I'm always so blessed to be with you to study the Word of God together and thinking about what Jesus said, where two or three of you are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst. And so as we join together to study His Word, I know that the Lord is with us. He will bless us and uh, that's why we like to go to Him in prayer as we begin our studies together. We just want to give Him an invitation to be with us as we study His Word. He knows it better than any of us. And so we want him to teach us today. So if you will, pray with me. Heavenly Father, we do want you to teach us today. We look to you for your Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth, to empower us to live according to that truth, and to bless our lives because we've followed and obeyed what the living God of the universe has told us. We just want to bless you today with the study of your word, ask you to be with us, open our eyes and ears, our hearts and minds to receive from you. And as you do, we're going to be careful to give you praise, glory, and honor that you so deserve, Lord. And we do this in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is The World Hates Jesus. It's taken from the book of John, chapter 7, and verse 7. The apostle John wrote how Jesus said, My time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. And in chapter 7 and verse 7 of his book, John shared how Jesus said, The world cannot hate you, but me it hates. Where we read, The world cannot hate you, but me it hates, because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. The verse reads, The world cannot hate you, but me it hates. John began with the words, The world or the earth and all its inhabitants cannot hate you, which means is unable and incapable of pursuing with hatred and detesting you, Jesus' brothers. But me it hates, or however, nonetheless, notwithstanding, and moreover me, Jesus, the world pursues with hatred and detest. John shared how Jesus told his brothers the world was unable to detest them, but it has no difficulty hating him. The verse goes on to say, because I testify of it, that the works thereof are evil. John continued with the words, because I testify of it, which means since and on account that I, Jesus, bear witness, affirm, utter honorable testimony, and give a good report about the world, that the works thereof, or that the acts and deeds belonging to the earth and its inhabitants are evil, which means exist as full of labors, annoyances, hardships, toils, perils, wickedness, and bad. John shared how Jesus told his brothers the reason the world hated him was because he bore witness of the wicked and pernicious deeds within it. When we meditate upon John's words in this verse, we learn how Jesus declared to his brothers how the world would not hate them, but it would hate him. John came, or Jesus came, to bear witness and testimony of the wickedness that is within the world. This causes the world to hate him. And everyone who yields their life to Jesus will be hated by the world when they expose the evil within it. Jesus came to offer salvation from the wickedness that is within the world. And anyone who submits their life to Jesus will be forgiven of their sins and receive everlasting life with God. Those who are wise will align with Jesus and allow the world to hate those who follow him. Next time, John shares how Jesus instructs his disciples to go you up unto this feast. I cannot, up, uh, I go not up yet unto this feast. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name. 